Give me my key. Help me! Give me my key. Help me! Give me my key. On countless occasions, the Director of Road Transport Service, otherwise known as Vehicle Special Office, has been seen in an argument with private and commercial motorists on highways. VRO was created to ensure that vehicles are roadworthy and not accident waiting to happen. Does VRO have business inspecting vehicles on Nigerian roads? This is a question mostly asked by Nigerians who have, in one way or the other, have an encounter with the officers. There is no denying good intention of the function of the RT as initiated in the instant laws. But those rules have been questioned by Nigerians who alleged they have deviated from their constitutional mandate and have transformed into revenue generation agency instead of fulfilling their core responsibilities such as standard vehicle inspection and traffic control. Every state and city in Nigeria has men in black, white or orange uniforms called vehicle inspection officers. There have been complaints about encounters with these officers. Is it safe to say that almost every driving Nigerian has a negative tale to tell about VIO? It seems as though the officers are under pressure to generate revenue for the agency and they are accused of illegally impounding vehicles and causing traffic on major roads. The public relations officer of DRT, Kalu Emetus, claimed in an exclusive interview that the personnel are not under pressure to generate revenue, but... When you say they are aggressive, if you want to succeed in any assignment, you must be aggressive. You are supposed to be aggressive to achieve your goals. What are these goals? The mandate given to you from the word go. Now, your stakeholders have to be respected. That is the key word. Respect every stakeholder. And when you respect your stakeholders, they will understand that the job you are doing is what you are supposed to do. If you fail to do it, it has a way of impacting on other areas. So what we teach our boys on the road is, first of all, acknowledge that that person you are meeting is your employer. How is he the employer? He is a Nigerian. We are working for Nigerians. All of us will work for Nigeria. When we try to satisfy that person, the story out there will be that you understand what you are doing. The unfortunate thing is, why they are trying to make our stakeholders, that is the motorists in particular, to understand that they are their employers. These people take it for granted. In 2015, due to the alleged corruption, discipline, and lack of respect for the public by operators of VIO, the former state governor of Cardinal State, Nasir Erifai, dissolved VIO in the states. Some of the vehicle inspection officers have been accused of usurping the duties of police officers, FRSC, and tax force instead of checking the roadworthiness of vehicles. Just like VIO, the FRSC also possesses the right to ensure that highways are safe but also checks for vehicle registration, insurance and driver's license and enforces traffic laws. Kalu alighted the primary responsibility of a vehicle inspection officer. Our functions are similar to an extent and they perform most of the functions we perform at the highway. When you hear Federal Highway, that is where they are supposed to be. Just like you hear their name, Federal Road Safety Corps. They are not supposed to be at the arterial roads. They are not supposed to be inside the city. But those of them in FCT will tell you every road in FCT is a federal road. But they forget that FCT is run like a state. That's the structure that is run like a state. It's only when they realize that, that they will give way for the employees of the states to do their work. We are into vehicle administration. Under vehicle administration, we register all the vehicles in FCT. We make sure, we keep the number of vehicles we register. We at the same time ensure that those vehicles are in good condition, which is where this VIO you mentioned, that vehicle inspection comes in. We ensure that they are roadworthy and when they are roadworthy, it can move you from point A to point B without spoiling on the road. We try as much as possible to ensure that there is free flow of traffic. So when any vehicle breaks down on the road, it infringes on the function we perform. Some people will tell you, you are rather causing traffic gridlock. Look at it this way. When those ones we know, when they get to a certain point, 
they will break down the roads. We try earlier to remove them from the roads. So when we flag down such vehicles, we at the same time ensure that they clear from the roads. But you see the stubborn ones. Instead, they would like to stop in the middle of the road. But when our boys are placing their hand this way, what it means is for you to clear from the roads. When people don't cooperate with the authorities, the authorities can hardly achieve anything. In May 2023, an angry motorist was caught on camera threatening to shoot via personnel. Although it is yet unclear what transpired between them, it was gathered that the motorist brought out his gun after the VI official attempted to impound his car. That's a bloody gun. He's ready. In this exclusive interview and interaction with Nigerians drivers, our correspondent find out why the VIO and Nigerians find it difficult to coexist peacefully. Muhammad Aminu is also a victim of this misconduct and unprofessional acts of the officers. Our correspondent witnessed how his wheel screen was broken at Binance Junction in Abuja. When asked about his offense, he claimed his car was broken without any cause. If you turn the motor via or used to break your glass, look how they do me, no, no, no. And they also, they don't go tell you anything, they, 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 they don't go take the responsibility, they will do many things for you. If the arrest will take you to the office, whether your paper go complete, they will bring another thing for you so that to get a lot of money. Because I'm turning for the traffic lights, they stop me. I, I, I'm trying to stop him, but, 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 but they can't break my glass. I'm stopping. See, how, see the place where I'm stopping? Because I don't need to stop for it. I'm trying to clear to stop. So they think say whether I'm not going to stop or I, I want to run, they can't break my, 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 my glass. Some other drivers we interacted with bitterly complain about how VIO goes about destroying, arresting, or importing people's vehicles for days when allotted pledges are not paid. VIO matter. They're dead with me. They're seriously dead with me. I was just coming from uh, Banex here to do large where I stay. I did not carry overload. I wanted a private car. When I get to do large, they packed me. I packed. They asked me to give them my particulars. I gave them the particulars, which everything is intact. My paper is here to expire by September. My driving license is next year. Now, the officer asked me to give him the original copy of the driver. I said, officer, I've been driving with this, cop this uh, photocopy. Why ask him for original? He said, why should I give him the original? Uh, why should I give him the photocopy? I should get the... I said, okay, that's not a problem. I have the original copy, but it's all with me here. It's at home. I stay in Ducey. And the office is very close to my place. Okay, let me say I should go to the office. For what reason? I should just get to the office. I should just go to the office. For what reason? In fact, I refuse. All the time they start, you know, I don't know where they got all those boys that very day. They are not doing that, they trained officers. For peace to reign, I went to the office, went home to go and get my original copy. Before I could even get up there, they changed the whole matter. And I have nobody to call. I don't have anybody to call than only God. When I get to the office, there are more than 50 people. They arrest us that very day for no reason. Okay, they ask us to wait when they finish the operation. They will come and attend to us after the operation from 10 o'clock in the morning. We stay there at uh, 5 o'clock in the evening. Still, yet, the old guy in charge, they call him uh, Labaran, head of operation, head of operation. He did not even attend to anybody. Till 5 o'clock in the evening, ask us to go. Officer, why are you asking us to go? This is where we feed from. We, have, we are family members, our children are at home. So, if you go home now, Saturday, Sunday, what would they eat? Some of us now, Monday morning, Monday morning, we used to drop money for our wives to go to market. Where would they get that money? So I tell to us, if it's your first who committed, let us know. Before I know it, what the next thing we see is a, 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 a police van. Just gather police people. That's the people that just come and scare us away from there. So yes, they be more on therefore it's they be Monday. I have to go back in there again. They ask us to go to to go and do what? To go and learn uh, their driving institute. 
Are we a learner? Is it I don't know how to drive or don't know what, what are we going to do there? In need of valid explanation for why his car was broken, Aminu approached the officers after he packed it. The kind of the way they, they dealt with the uh, drivers, in as much as they are doing their work, we're not against them doing their work, but some of them are not professional in their, in their work. They're supposed to have a, this kind of orientation in the sense that they will carry their duty in a professional way. So nobody's against them checking papers or it is their duty. There's no way, no, no two ways about, about that. But some of them, the way they treat drivers, they will see drivers like this, they will jump inside motor. They will wear ordinary uniform, that not even their uniform. They will just jump inside the motor like this and begin to drag their key. At times, before you know it, they will even tear your plate number, that is, which is your personal property. They will just tear the plate number. And, and, and that thing is very, very wrong. It's very wrong. And these days, that they know that things are very difficult in Nigeria here. Yeah. Some of all these drivers, based on what they make in a day, they, they depend on their daily daily income. You will go and find their motor for three days, four days, five days. When you want to book them, you will book them 30, 20,000, 40,000. And these are people that have uh, children, I have some other responsibilities to, to take care of. So to me, it's not uh, good at all. Like the first time I have issue with them at uh, Mabuchi, I was going to the airport. I just dropped somebody. There's no bus stop there. I just dropped somebody for me to go. They just dive inside my key. For, from the other side, maybe get myself wounded, which uh, we, we, I, I, I hired a lawyer and uh, he served them paper. After much, much, they beg and beg and plead and plead and forgive them. So I told them, not because of money or anything, but I wanted to be professional in, in their job. They should not, because of the, they have a uniform, they begin to intimidate uh, people. So they, this last time they were they, they did not even tell me why I was I, I was arrested because I was there was hold up and I was in, and my car was in motion. One of them just opened my open, open my car, enter. While I was looking to negotiate how how to move, they just opened my car and dive my key. You know, they drag my key. They, they even spot my my, my 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 key. If you don't ever quarrel with them, they will they will charge you to a Sakia Hospital to go and do Sakia test. You know, you just a way to make you spend money. And they will hold your car hostage there. So, before you know it, even if after you pay, they will say pumping of tire 250, 200. Before you know it, for gates, they will charge you on money, demorate, say your car uh, parked there for, for so many days, you pay. All oh, that is the way for them to, to make money. How are you? Hi. Hello, sir. How are you? Hi. Like other car owners whose car have been unlawfully destroyed or wrongly arrested by VIO personnel, Aminu does not seem satisfied with the apology from VIO personnel. If he does now, if he does to now, no that problem now. You understand? So may they not do something for we where we go best. But if we best now, not the only we. We are with them many. So they can't control us again. So they have to take care of that. It's not right. The right thing is if they stop you, if you not go stop mad, they will let you go. That is the right thing. If they stop you, you, you can't stop. Maybe you get emergency, so they will let you go. But this one, they're not going to let you go. They will try to break your glass or do something for you where, where you go stop. So that, that is not the right thing. Car owners and commercial drivers, therefore, call on the federal government to introduce proper training and a comprehensive restructuring of the service.